that was it was 2002, and we have to remember that was a moment where the whole rhetoric was the crisis in the humanities, mm -hmm. and many people were blaming technology for the mm -hmm. crisis in the humanities, and we kind of turned it and said mm -hmm. if technology is changing things like how long people live, what the meaning of life and death is, um, you know, um, how we store information, how we deal with the amount of information in the world. Uh, how, what the global world is like. Those are all the most fundamental kinds of questions about the humanities. So we were saying, rather than there being a crisis in the humanities, it was time to reassert the humanities as not only foundational to all knowledge, but um, as something technology and, te and digital learning demanded and needed. needed. The, the new modality, you might say, about knowledge creation uh, has to do with the fact that it's uh, no, no longer disciplinarily bound. Uh, we're, we're bound by problematics, we're bound by themes, we're bound by questions. The biggest question is we don't live in a world where one person has the answers anymore. We live in a world where the questions are so complicated that you need to have collaboration among many people who are together trying to figure out the implications. And so one of the things we thought about in informing our Haystack Network is how can education be as exciting as problem-based, as collaborative, as interdisciplinary, as sociable um, inside uh, a formal educational environment as it is outside. And that's what we're really looking for, is the future of learning institutions in this digital age where students come with different capacities and need to both learn how to be critical about what they learn online, but also where we learn from the students how that amazing capacity that they have to know can be, can be used in a way that serves all of us.